Welcome to Team Adapt presentation. We analyze data from primary and secondary sources such as national statistical organizations and international organizations including IMF, World Bank and United Nations. Research work from Moody's, McKinsey's, BCG, Bloomberg and Journal of Operations Management served as a basis of our finding. We have provided a list in the reference section. We use data from the United Nations and World Bank to identify key risks modeled in the PESTO framework. We see trade protectionism bring increased duties and limitations to free trade. Regions and countries are stuff favoring local suppliers. Digital platforms boom while brick and mortar stores suffer. Potential contract bridges and changing government regulations pose additional legal liabilities on businesses. Technological advancements threaten market leaders whose competitors adopt changes faster. The shift to the online ecosystem raises cybercrime. Social distancing and health concerns affect work planning. Massive layoffs amplify purchasing power, disparity, and social division. Shortage of protective equipment can cause work delays and rejections. Mental health pressure on the workforce can lead to lost productivity and increased costs. The global outbreak has not only constrained the free movement of people, but also restricted the occupant capacity to reduce crowding, redesigning the workplace to comply with the health measures, add expenditures to the bottom line, laying off staff to reduce costs, exerts pressure on the existing operation productivity. Online collaboration efficiency is affected by individual home office conditions and internet issues. He employees who are inexperienced in handling critical information remotely are targets of cyber attacks. IT infrastructure faces security challenges in scaling up workload while protecting the integrity of data, giving supply chain disruption and cash flow difficulty in this uncertain period, some long-standing multinational brands began shutting down physical locations permanently throughout the crisis. Disruptions caused by COVID-19 require both immediate and long-term responses. Companies such as e-commerce face a surge in demand, while others such as airlines have taken a tremendous hit. Immediate responses are to focus on business survival, quick adaptation to create new protocols and operating procedures, and the well-being of employees. Long-term responses refer to corporate strategies focusing on growth and development. In the short term, companies should apply for a government subsidy and relief programs, claim to recover insured losses, boost liquidity with better inventory management and AR collection, adopt flexible pricing and diversify operations across regions to deal with the new restrictions. Adapt to the new buy local sentiment and shorten supply chain. Adjust and invest in employee benefit programs. Implement cybersecurity measures and enhance relevant trainings for employees. In the long term, our recommendation is to follow the 7S model. For a comprehensive response, all seven elements need to be aligned with new realities of the business. Simulation modeling and other predictive analysis tools allow organizations to test different risk scenarios associated with COVID-19 and create a list of optimal responses as these. Develop business strategies to adapt to the new demand forecast and re-examine capital investment priorities as more investment might be required for digital transformation technologies like blockchain and reevaluate supply chains and practically identify many weak links. Change organizational structure to allow more cross-functional work and facilitate better sharing of resources. Create systems and procedures to facilitate remote working. Develop new style of leading, motivating, evaluating and rewarding employees. Develop new skill enhancing and staffing programs for employees. Align the business shared values with this new way of doing business and build an integrated cyber risk and security management program. Multinationals are achieving cost saving through less travel and reduced corporate meetings. Industries such as pharmaceuticals may take advantage of government subsidies and accelerated innovation, as well as shorten product introduction cycles. Technology enabled remote working allow employees to overcome collaboration barriers and achieve a better work-life balance. Employees can also benefit from spending less time on commute. 
In the long run, organizational restructuring will allow multinationals to react quicker to future disruptions. Faster innovation and the adoption of new technologies will give an edge to companies in the fourth industrial revolution. Corporations can also seize the opportunity to acquire quality assets at attractive price. Employees can upgrade their skills via more online options that are becoming available. During crisis, leadership becomes more compassionate as people are able to relate to each other at a human level. This will help to maintain a better work culture and improve the mental health of employees. The ADAPT team believes that uh, waiting for the return of good old times is not an option. It is imperative to act now and decisively. Preserving the human and financial capital base in the first response stage should be followed by serious operational retooling using the advanced tools derived from the fourth industrial revolution to enable successful bridging from the old to the new business.